Hey, what up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the562.org. It's Tyler, and this boys' soccer highlight is brought to you by the fine folks down at Naples Rib Company. All of the 562 soccer coverage this season is sponsored by Beach Football Club. All of our coverage of Long Beach Poly is sponsored by Juju Smith-Schuster and the Juju Foundation, along with Jayon Brown and Playfair Sports Management. And all of our Cabrillo coverage is sponsored by the Cohn family. Thank you to all of our sponsors. And if you're not excited about the start of More League Soccer, that's a red flag. As here we are at Cabrillo, Long Beach Poly in town on opening night. Pat Noyes and his Jags have done a lot of scoring this season. They're 6-1-1 one, one coming into this one. Meanwhile, Long Beach Poly has a good one between the posts. Senior Amir Diaz Espinoza looking to get his team fired up for the start of league play. A big early matchup here. And in the opening minutes, Duan Baker going to draw a foul over there along the left side. That is in a dangerous spot for Cabrillo as they've got an early scoring chance on their home pitch. Martin Robles Ruiz steps over it and buries one in the far side netting. That is top shelf stuff from Martin, a golazo for his 12th goal of the season as Cabrillo takes a 1-0 lead in the second minute. An unreal start. Then in the eighth minute, Robles Ruiz again gets something started. Good work between him, Nathan Mosqueda, and Baker on the left side. Baker gonna dribble in, cuts the ball back, comes off a defender. Robles Ruiz with the touch to his left and he buries it. A cool finish from 10 as Cabrillo Unreal start for them. They lead 2-0 in the 8th minute. A baker's dozen, 13 goals for Cabrillo's number 10. The Jags are flying in this one, up 2-0 early. Polly though, would make a push. Senior Anner Aguiar going to get it right here and fire one in, forcing a great save from Ezra Salcido in the Cabrillo goal. He had four saves for the Jags. None better than that one. As we see in these league games, things did get a little bit feisty. Just two teams that know each other really well and are both out there playing hard. Uh, you expect to see nothing less when it's league rivalries like this. Now Mosqueda going to set up Javi Palomares for a great chance here as he fires one. But look at the fingertip save. Diaz Espinosa, a brilliant stop. Jags kept hunting that third goal across by Robles Ruiz. Eventually falls to Mosqueda and another point-blank save for Diaz Espinosa, but he wasn't done. Once again, Mosqueda, space to fire, Amir at full stretch. What a stop, just desperation saves here to keep Polly alive as it's two nothing at halftime, but Cabrillo dominating the proceedings so far. Into the second half, Polly trying to press forward. Kevin Harahone gonna do the dirty work here, gets back to his feet, gets a cross in, it's gonna pinball around, but an easy collection for Salcido there. Not a ton of great chances for the Jackrabbits in that second half. Cabrillo's best defense was offense. Baker crosses Jose Garcia just over the crossbar. A golden opportunity there. Jags really trying to put this game away with a third goal. Polly got outshot 10-5 in the match and couldn't get much going after halftime as Salcido was there when he needed to be flying in. Robles Ruiz, meanwhile, hunting that third, but he lifts this volley too high. Noyes says that's the one player he wants to be greedy, and he almost got the hat trick tonight. But regardless, Cabrillo with the clean sheet and the 2-0 win over Polly, an impressive performance for the Jags to start out more league play. We've got to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center, for their support of local sports coverage. And if you want to keep up with more league soccer and all other sports going on in Long Beach, you're already in the right place, the 562.org.